So we have Austin, Frank, Lindsay, and Daniel. Welcome to Moot. Austin has actually been part of Moot for a bit now, and Lindsay is his lovely lady friend. Um, but Austin has been joining us via Zoom, so that's why you guys haven't seen him. Here we go, we're excited to have him live. What do you do creatively? I am a photographer, so I do lifestyle and documentary style photography, so I just love capturing stories, and I hope they will like transcend time a little bit and not just die off. So I think popular today, there's a lot of like Instagram style photography that goes on and kind of just dies off really quickly. Looking to tell a lot more deeper stories and connect with people and hopefully inspire others through those stories that I'm able to tell. Sweet. Yeah, mostly just photo stuff. No video yet, although maybe one day I'll get Dan to teach me some videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the audience that they know, he has a really good stills and video camera. <laughs> he has the capability, he just is focusing on photography. Yeah, correct. Very cool. What is the current project that you are working on or aiming towards? So I have two projects that I'm currently working on, I would say. One's more active than the other. One of them is a book project. I've been working on this, I would say this is my second year now. I don't really have a full name for it yet or a total guideline. I have a lot of photos to throw in there, but I don't, I don't know. I'm still working on that whole project, but I would love to have that finished by the end of this year if possible. If not, beginning of next year so I can release it. I'm hoping to publish it so where people mm -hmm. can buy it and just enjoy it, a little coffee table book sort of deal. Sweet, so would it be all your photos or would you be collaborating with someone to have like text with the photos? It'd probably be text with photos. I really wanna tell the stories to go along with the photos and the process of how I got into the situations to grab those photos. I'm hoping that that would be able to inspire people, like I mentioned before, a little bit deeper, like the backside of the photography, because nice to see a good image, but it's also really cool to like hear the story behind it. I love that. That's super cool. And my other project is what I just call the Kenya Project. Me and Dan, Dan more so than myself, we worked with this lady named Rainy, and she knows this lady from Kenya who now lives here. Her name is Purity. If I have this correct, she both on the ground of a orphanage in Kenya. I think it's an orphanage and a school. So they do church there as well. They feed over a hundred kids one super nutritious meal per day. Coming from Kenya, that would be pretty spectacular because they, they've always struggled with like drought and, you know, different agricultural issues. My whole idea behind that project is to go there and document that process and help her to kind of like spread awareness for her project, raise more fundage, hopefully maybe redo her website. I know she mentioned that to me when I spoke with her. Mainly just tell that story. I think it's a very inspiring story. So to get there and tell that story would be the other project. But that one's a little bit more passive, I would say, because I don't know all the details compared to the book where I've been like culminating it for like two years now. So what steps would you need to take in order to make the Kenya vision a reality? I think the main steps I'd have to take is really to talk with Purity. So I haven't done much international travel at all. Like I've been to Canada and Mexico, but never really like across any oceans or anything like that. Okay. So I don't know anything necessarily about international travel, I would say. I think talking with her, she's going to know everything. So she built it from the ground up. I think she would have all the details. I would need or most of the details. I think a lot of it's gonna be the authentic experience. And I think just maybe speaking with connections as well. I know Dan also was giving me a good connection that I need to follow up with and yeah, just see where that leads. And I think just breaking it down one step at a time. I've broken down the project into like four different layers. I'm hoping through those like layers that I can build to a greater project and tell a greater story. I like it, I like the plan. Now, where can people find your work and your photography? So I have an Instagram page that's very inactive at the moment. <laughs> so you can find it on there. But if you want my more recent work, I would go to my website, which is austinlawrencephoto.com. And what is your Instagram? And my Instagram is austinwanders, W-A-N-D-E-R-S. So not wonders, but wanders. Gotcha. <laughs>
Now, how can we support you and what you're doing? So the biggest um, way I would say to support me would be to just like stay up to date with my work and the projects. And if I do um, release the book, if you could just pick up a copy of that, that would be a super big way to support me. And it would show that people care about the work I'm producing and it would help me produce greater work in the future, I think. Yeah, we'll have to keep everybody posted when Austin publishes, or you never know. Have you thought about doing a Kickstarter? <laughs> I have not, no. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah, that would be very interesting. I've never actually even considered that. Okay. I think that would probably help because um, fronting the cost for a book is, I looked it up and it's very expensive as, at the beginning. So. It can be, unless yeah. you do Amazon self-publishing. and then That's very true. I've done that with my own short story and another children's story. That is a pretty straightforward process, mm -hmm. but unfortunately don't get the marketing unless yeah. you really gun it yourself. I do know I want the length of the book to be like around 200 pages. Wow. I say. Yeah, I want it to be like a pretty like solid size book. So That is very cool. Yeah. Have you seen those coffee table books with the National Geographic ones that are pretty thick. I draw a lot of inspiration from those. I have like five of them. <laughs> I like that size and like feel with a book. I don't know. I've ha I have a ton of books that I draw inspiration from. So I think that size is perfect though. Like, a, I don't know, 200 pages. I found that I really enjoy those style of books. And then you have plenty of space for like text. If you want to put like really in like in-depth stories or you know, smaller stories and you can place a lot of like photography to go with it. I love it. Well, Austin, thank you so much for joining us yeah, this definitely. evening. Thank you for and, having me. Yeah, great <laughs> meet everybody. So thank y'all. See you next week. Bye. Because my nose is dripping, Daniel. Can I have a <laughs> tissue? <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right.